Hello, this is Dale. In this video, I'm going to be discussing how to navigate credit spreads profitably by managing risk. Again, my name is Dale Brethauer. I've been a trader for greater than four decades. Hedge fund manager, guest speaker at a number of venues, uh, written three financial books. Currently, I am the founder and, and chief option coach at www.optionsinfinity.com, where we specialize in credit spreads, which I believe are the very best way to consistently um, bring in money on a monthly basis. Let's talk about a bull put spread right now, which is one of the vertical spreads, the other being a bear call. The bull put is a type of option strategy that's used when you think that the price of the stock is going to rise. In other words, you're bullish. So the operative word here is bull. It's what we're doing is we're selling a put. So it's a bullish um, strategy. We, we do this by selling a put out of the money and then buying one further out of the money for protection. That protection against loss is, is good. However, I, want, I don't want to take it all the way till expiration. If it looks like it's a losing trade, I want to get out before then. And there's a number of things that I look at. One is uh, support. Uh, if it's a bull put spread, I'm looking for support. Uh, the other is I'm looking if it's uh, moving in the other direction, what kind of Fibonacci extension is it getting to? And then of course, the last one is using the risk profile. That's what I want to focus on today. I want to discuss that risk profile and how I can use that along with the other tools to mitigate the risk and, and take a loss, but minimize the loss. This is a current trade we had, a bull put spread on Home Depot, HD. Um, you, you put on a, a bull put by selling. We, we did this on March 16th. We sold the 17 June 290 put at 750. And that would be this one right here. You can see it's uh, it's out of the money uh, at, at the time we put it on. HD was up around here. So this this trade was very conservative. We're selling this one and then we're buying the 17 June 28, to, uh, excuse me, 280 put for five dollars and ninety three cents. So it's the difference between these two is our net credit of $1.57. The beauty with uh, credit spreads is as long as the price goes in the direction you're looking for, bullish, or goes sideways, or doesn't come below this point here, uh, you can make money. However, if the trade goes against you, and, and you always have to be prepared for losing trades, that's part of trading. We have losing trades, we have losing streaks. But we have a rock solid strategy and it's just a matter of staying with it and executing it. Now, for this particular trade, you can see it came down. And uh, the first thing I was looking at is you have support right here. Okay, so that support is the first level I'm looking at. The second is it had a move down here and I was looking at a Fibonacci on a shorter time frame came down to the 161. A lot of times it halts there and reverts back to the mean. So, so I'm looking for it to halt right around here and for it to push back up. Now, the other tool that I use is the risk profile. This is the chart showing the risk profile. The green line is the line where it, it will be at expiration of this uh, option. Of course, we have it a long way out. That's a leap. The purple line is what it's valued at today. 
I'm not really concerned with the green line because I'm never going to take uh, or, or let a vertical spread go to expiration. So the, uh, I almost uh, forget about the green line. What I'm looking at is the purple line here. And where it crosses over here is the break even point. What I do is I usually put come over here and I look for 6% of margin. Now for a an option contract for a 10 point spread, which is usually what I use on leaps, a 10 point spread times 100 shares per contract is $1,000 margin necessary per contract. I'm looking at I'm looking at the uh, kind of an uncle point as to when I want to get out with a loss of about six percent of margin. So on one contract that is sixty dollars. And what I do is I come up here and I put a line where that would be right around sixty dollars. For the profit, I'm looking for about ten percent of margin, and I put a line in here about ten percent. You see, we never take it all the way to expiration. And if I get about, uh, you know, if I get 10% of margin, I'm getting about 80, 90% of what I can totally get anyhow. So why not take that profit and move on? Okay, so it's the combination of knowing where the uncle point is basically of where you wanna get out. Currently we're right here. This, this hash mark shows where we're here. So as long as it, the, <clears throat> this is a bull put, as long as we're to the right of this line, I just let this trade go. Okay, so let's go back to the previous, previous chart. So one, uh, this trade has, had, you know, we got in here, I'm looking for it to be bullish. It has it, it gone against this. So we're looking for when to get out. I wanna let the trade go as long as I can. But if, but if it gets to the point where it breaks support, which is right here, it's already tested that and it's moving on up. If it breaks support, or if it has a Fibonacci extension um, that shows that it's overextended, that's the second thing. And then the third thing is if it breaks this line of 6% of margin, the combination of those three is when I choose to jump out of the vertical spread. Now, for a bear call, the risk profile is just the opposite. You'll see the, the um, uh, on, on the right-hand side, it comes up and, and, and shows you where it is at um, expiration. A lot of people worry about with with vertical spreads that you've got uh, you're capped at how much you can make as far as the profit and the risk reward ratio is not very good however you can see that the way i trade is here is the amount that i can make and and usually i cut it short and here's the amount that i can lose so so the the risk reward ratio is now um, closer to one to one and uh, you, utilizing my entry rules, I, you have about a 75% uh, positive win ratio. So when I'm winning more than I'm losing and I'm making more than when I lose, this is a positive expectation trade. This shows the equity curve for the last two, two plus years, uh, starting from 2019. I've been doing this for, for 10 years, publicly uh, releasing these alerts, and it usually averages around 75% wins. So, and I'm just showing the last two years, this equity curve is, is about the same if I look all the way back through, uh, but I, I wanted to show it closer than time. Yes, indeed, we have some losers. We have some losing streaks, um, but this is a positive expectation trading strategy. You can see the equity curve is going in the upward direction and that's the way you want it to go. Now, past performance is no guarantee of future results. However, like I said, I've been doing this publicly for 10 years. I've been trading for over four decades 
And this is a positive expectation trading strategy. What I'd like you all to do is uh, join me. And uh, if you just go to www.optionsinfinity.com, you can become a member. The, the strategy I teach just has three or four indicators that I use to get into a trade. And then I've got a, an exit rules. So, so it's, it's, it's rule driven. It's very positive and uh, it's a very simple strategy. However, it takes a while to master the strategy. And that's why right now I'm given a special offer that if members are with me for three months, which uh, gives them time to master this, uh, we will give you the fourth month for free. Along with uh, your membership, uh, we get together every other Tuesday. I have a one hour webinar that I talk about the current trades we have, possible future trades. Um, usually I have a little lesson to, to teach and then there's plenty of time for the members to ask questions. In addition to that, when I have, when I see a vertical spread that I am going to put on, I, I send out an alert to all the members, and this usually uh, usually is uh, about uh, one or two a week that members get. Uh, I send out an alert not only when to get into the trade, but when I am getting out of the trade. And this has been extremely profitable over the years. Uh, all the trades are listed right on the website. We're very transparent, and everything is there for you to see. I hope you all join me and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye now.